Race number nine has a bit of a focus towards the Classic Cup in a few weeks' time. It's over the 1,600 metres, and we've got Eremo carrying 135 pounds again. The best peach, the hood is off, the blinkers go on. Ivy League's on a seven-day backup. Romantic charm was known as Blue Army when trained in Victoria. Went over the 1,400 at Warrnambool and 1,600 at Caulfield. Drombeg Banner, last start winner at 32 to 1, carries an extra 18 pounds this week. Straight Aaron, cheek pieces off, sheepskin brow band goes on. Massive Action last start winner carries an extra pound. Happy together, beaten narrowly last time behind Voyage Bubble. Powerful wings, Thomas placed four from six, course and distance. Yeah, and the speed in this race uh, looks to be fairly good. So with a horse like Massive Action who can get rolling in front, he's dropped a bit of weight on that last start uh, performance, 27 pounds. Drombeg uh, Banner led them up, so he's potentially an alternate leader if Massive Action uh, wasn't there. And uh, Circuit Mighty goes forward to Paul, but uh, hasn't done a great deal in this grade. Does tend to struggle. There's quite a few horses that do get back in this race. Yeah, so look, I think those three will, will go clear and then Eremo can get in, uh, into a nice position and happy together won't be far away. But as you mentioned, a lot of horses like Ivy League, Straight Arrow and Powerful Wings, the best peach should go back. We've got plenty to look at here to try and find you a winner and we're going to start, Tom, with Drombeg Banner who was an upset winner last time. Ivy League's had a start since this as well. There was money for him last to start, certainly uh, Drombeg Banner and he was able to uh, dictate uh, off the front uh, here, a Pierre Ong and uh, Jerry Chow. He's led up in a recent uh, barrier trial, uh, beaten by Lucky Swainess and stayed on uh, well. So, look, he goes in, Paul, because he's going to be in the, the right sort of place. Uh, he won't be too far off the speed. Yeah, look, he, he should get himself a nice run and see if he can... Uh, uh, sort of do this again. He just has to repeat this, doesn't he? He was a big price, as you say, when he did do this. We move on to Celtic Times. He's only had two starts. He debuted with Danny Shum, then moved to Jimmy Ting. This was the first start for Jimmy, and the further they went, Paul, the better he looked. Yeah, look, he, this is a, a most improved run from him. He was 172 to 1 as well. Uh, he's drawn uh, 12, so he's another one of these ones that'll get back. It's just see if he can get the race run to suit. Yeah, and he actually trolled better uh, leading into with this assignment. So had uh, Celtic uh, times. A couple of trials before this run were certainly a lot uh, better, and he was able to make ground uh, along the inside to there. No match for the, the top two, but uh, certainly was doing his best work late. Simba, an amazing victory. The two horses in front of him. Here is happy together Tom, who's smashing the door down to win a race. Yeah, he is. He keeps on improving this horse for uh, Richard Gibson. Alexi Bedell, fifth, fourth and second in his last uh, three outings. And he stayed on uh, gamely. And I think that means, Paul, sort of uh, other horses that were in this race, uh, the likes of uh, Straight Aaron, didn't really have any excuses because this horse was basically last on the home turn. Yeah, and he hit the line really strongly. And he was beaten by Voyage Bubble, who came out and won the Classic Mile. So the form looks rock solid. And it was a... a a really good run from him and he he, he got pretty close um, in the end didn't he so look, he's on top for me as well that's a good report for happy together next up paul is casa cosmo and this is him running fifth at happy valley last time yeah better run from him as well he's drawn nicely so he should get himself into a, a better position as well uh, casa cosmo he didn't quite get in but uh, look he wasn't too far away yeah, I'm going to put him in from a, a low draw this time around. Uh, Zach uh, looking to get down to a 119, so that's uh, about the, the minimum that uh, he's uh, willing to do. But uh, look at him staying on well through the line there. Uh, son of Tavistock here at 1,600 metres, so he goes in. Well, that's a nice report for Casa Cosmo. Trial here, Tom featuring Massive Action, who is a last start winner, and Romantic Charm. He's had just the two trials. He runs second behind MM Nebula, and there's quite a few horses racing on Sunday that come out of this trial. Yeah, there are a uh, Sea Monarch up front uh, there as uh, well. Uh, this horse uh, here, uh, Romantic Charm, just happy to see what he can do uh, this time uh, round, because uh, he did win in Australia, Paul, with the, the blinkers on, and they haven't put those on yet. Yeah, I, I like Massive Action, though. I, look, I thought it was a strong win last time. He bit a good field uh, last time as well so look he goes in for me massive action that is a look at plenty of the runners in race number nine but uh you're with the horse named after racing to win paul happy together <laughs> happy together we're all happy together i think he's ready to win this horse so he's uh, clearly on top for me i'm going to put the, the bottom one in the lightweight happy day he's he had no luck at his last start he was held up at a vital time and uh, prior to that he'd been running really consistently a massive action from the front and eremo uh, he's, I think he's just at his mark, but uh, I still think he can run into a minor place. 9, 14, 7 and 1. 9 on top for me, and uh, that uh, is uh, happy together. Just keeps on improving, and uh, he was a good winner, a good uh, horse uh, last time out there behind uh, Vorge Bubble. We know that form has uh, come out with him winning uh, last weekend. So 9 to beat 13, uh, Casa Cosmo. I think he can improve with a, a good draw. Dromberg Banner and uh, Eremo was better last uh, time out. Another one through that uh, Vorge Bubble race. Close up there in that blanket finish. 9, 13, 5 and 1.
But for the boys, it's all race nine, number nine, happy together.